All right, we are here at my tiny worm bin, and it has been eight days since we were here last, and we gave a pretty big feeding last time, so it's gonna be interesting to see what we have in here. Now, it definitely feels moister than it did last time, and I had put some water in after I shot the video, but I'm definitely feeling castings, and the hope here is that we are starting to see more cocoons and possibly a um, explosion of worms, which would be fantastic. Now, I'm probably not going to put as much bedding into it or maybe go every other time because what I noticed when I look back at the last video was, see this little ridge here? That's kind of like the, the highest I want anything to go just because we've got these big holes. Um, and the worms weren't crawling up. Sometimes I see that in my vermi hut that's got a, you know, a pretty tight lid. Um, but it was from me, you know, dumping the castings and stuff. So I think I'm, I'm going to just hold off and let it get lower. But a few videos ago, we called this 50-50 on castings. And this is getting a lot more. I am really impressed with this. So let's dig under and see if we can find some worms there's a big guy gal <laughs> both i keep saying that but there's a happy guy well he'll be happy in a second because he's going to get a lot of food but let's see if that big feeding from last time is in here another worm right there i'm not seeing it Maybe I'd be, oh man, if we had a worm ball in this bin, I'd be so excited again because this was only started with 50 to 100 worms. And, you know, just to get a big population in here, when I'm used to starting with 1,000 or 2,000, it would just make my day. I mean, this bin was started 110 days ago. So like I said last time, there's, it's had time for another generation to be in here. Uh, it's been eight days since our last feeding, and this is the 14th feeding. So if you're wondering what, you know, 50 to 100 worms can do to a small bin, and again, that's how small it is, a small bin in 110 days, here you go. But I am not, I'm not seeing any of the food. I'm seeing happy, moving worms. So what I thought was a big feeding was probably just <laughs> a feeding. So I need to be feeding these worms more. Oh, there's a bunch. I'll just kind of pick them out. Again, I, I'm i pretty enthusiastic for so little worms, but that is just because this was started with so little and there's a little piece of plastic from the office shredding. Pretty amazing. I mean, if this bin was started with a thousand one, I'd already be harvesting, and I really would have had to move worms to another bin. But this is doing great. I mean, I cannot believe, you know, what, what we have here. If you go back to my earlier videos, you know, you'll see what we started with, and this is just amazing. In fact, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I have uh, three playlists, once for each of my worm bins. And then you can track the progress from start to finish castings. Uh, and if you want, ring the bell, and then you'll get notified when I drop a new video. But I'm pretty happy. I don't think I've dug over here. Wow. Oh, yeah. Worms. Worms everywhere. So every handful has worms. This is great. I'm, I don't know if I'm close enough. I don't see any cocoons but again oh there's a there's a baby let's see if we can get a good focus on i gotta get it over here without dropping them dropped them a little bit but right there two two babies that is outstanding that is definitely the next generation because those didn't start 110 days ago I think we've had cocoons in here that have been hatched. That is great news, and I am very happy with that. Very excited. All right, I think we've done enough aerating <laughs> or playing in here. So I'm just going to make some room, and as I do this, I'm just 
so happy with how many castings are in here. It's definitely the last three feedings have have been different. The the, the um, bedding has looked different, and the difference is as the castings start filling in. I think that's what that is. So I know we said we're not gonna put any bedding in, but I just, I need to put something so I can sleep at night. Um, and then we'll start with this food. So there's a lot of liquid and some good food in here. And I'm going to squash these grapes. But I, you know, I see this in my other bins too, where it just seems like there's so much bedding. And then, you know, within like a, a three week or two week period, all of a sudden it is, you know, getting to castings quickly. And then it's like, it's like the bin shrinks um, or the, the stuff in the bin shrinks and the volume goes way down and I'm like, ah, oh, behind on castings. So maybe I'm getting lured, lured, lured in um, by it, but I'm not gonna put a whole bunch, I'm gonna resist. And we're gonna put in some of the spinach, which again, is been frozen and then thawed and frozen, which if there's any vegetable where that's unpleasant, that is spinach. So we'll just put some more in here like this. And this is a pretty, pretty decent feeding here too. But I think the last time we did eight days and I may even go six just to check on this and making sure I'm giving it enough food. So That'll about do it for the spinach. And now we're gonna put in just, you know, just a little bit of coffee. I think that's a little bit more than we did last time. And then we'll go with the grit, which is again, pulverized eggshells. And that is a good feeding. Really impressed with this bin. Impressed with what 50 worms can do in such a tiny bin. So we'll just bury it back up, try and keep it away from the sides here, but moisture level is feeling good. Bin is looking good. Seeing more worms. I now, oh, there's possibly right there, or the best place to put it, possibly a cocoon, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it is because I see on the edge of it, it's kind of tapered. So I think that's a cocoon. I bet you there's more in there, but we'll go ahead and end the video. I appreciate everybody watching and I hope you're having a great day and doing well with your worm bins. Happy composting, everybody.